In less than two months, Macon Bay Mayor Robert Rickert will close the door for the final time on the office he has occupied for the past 13 years. A lot has changed since the mayor was first sworn in, and the journey has not always been smooth. But during a recent sit-down interview with the mayor, I can tell that one thing hasn't changed. His love for the city he has always called home. The mayor of Macon Bibb County likes what he sees when he looks out over the downtown. This is the unique sense of place. This downtown that is so unique, so beautiful, it attracts movie sets, it, it, it attracts people, it attracts millennials that want to live in lofts above that was formerly commercial space and go to a, a, a brew pub downstairs and have craft beer. But that wasn't what Robert Rickert saw back in 2007 when he decided to run for mayor. He says he saw a divided community heading downhill fast. And I felt a need to try to help my community. I was born here, grew up here, uh, planned to die here uh, at some point in the long distant future, but uh, this is my home uh, and I wanted to try to help. Hey, how about it over here? <laughs> Rickert won that election and has spent the past 13 years leading the place he loves. You've got to be a cheerleader and an optimist. One of Rickert's biggest accomplishments, guiding the city and county through consolidation, a process he called a team effort. It was Sam Hart that said, don't, don't think city, don't think county, think community. That key phrase led us, I think, to appreciate that we're all in this together. The mayor says a consolidated make and bib stacks up well against other communities, attracting big name companies like Amazon, Tractor Supply, and Kumho Tire. That we've always had a four horse wagon, I mean a wagon big enough to carry the load that required four horses to pull it. But our problem in the past was we hooked one horse to each wheel and pulled in different directions and wondered why the wagon wasn't going anywhere. Now we've been able to get everything in harness and in team pulling in one direction and it's been amazing the progress we've been able to make. When he walks the streets downtown, the mayor talks enthusiastically about a transformation started years ago by Newtown Macon. Developed the three principles of, that they were trying to employ to revitalize downtown Macon because it was dead as a hammer at that period of time. And they came up with more jobs downtown, more residents downtown and creating a unique sense of place. Rickert realizes Macon Bibb has its share of problems like homelessness, crime and unemployment, especially among young people ages 18 to 24. He also understands the world in which we live is changing and that people want a place at the table. Because this has got to be a community effort. It's got to be inclusive. And this is part, Frank, of, of what's under the umbrella of Black Lives Matter. It's not just about police and, and different treatment by police. It's about inclusion. It's about equity. It's about building their, their fortune and fame, progressing up and moving up. What do you hope people say about your time in office? I, I hope they'll, they will think and say that we made a difference, um, that we pulled the community together we, we created an atmosphere where we appreciated and recognized the value of working together as opposed to working independently or separately. So I hope they'll say we made a difference. Mayor-elect Lester Miller will get sworn in as Robert Rickert's replacement in late December. To hear more from the mayor about the I-16, I-75 construction project and why he compares downtown Macon's resurgence to finding a rare baseball card, look for this story on 13WMAZ.com.